global financial markets haven't yet recovered from the shockwaves created by Fed Chairman Bernanke two months ago, when he first hinted at tapering US monetary stimulus. US Treasury yields have continued to trend higher and emerging market currencies remain well off their pre-May levels. These developments, coupled with the recent signs of slowdown in China, have arguably clouded the prospects for the global economy. For now, however, we think that the fallout for global growth will be contained. Admittedly, the increase in mortgage rates associated with the surge in Treasury yields could slow the housing recovery in the US. But the ongoing improvement in employment should keep the overall recovery there on track, enabling the Fed to indeed start tapering its stimulus program later this year. In China, authorities appear determined to rein in credit growth, which has been well in excess of the growth of the economy. But we doubt whether they would tolerate a very sharp growth slowdown. And we retain a 6% plus real GDP growth forecast for the next 12 months. Meanwhile, in Europe, evidence is increasing that the recession is gradually petering out. However, with much of the private sector still focusing on paying off debt, and the continued fiscal austerity policies, the recovery is expected to be slow and uneven. Indeed, economic and political pressures in the periphery will remain high in the foreseeable future. A renewed escalation of the Eurozone crisis after the German elections in September remains a clear risk. All in all, there are both reasons for cautious optimism and causes of lingering concern. In other words, the new normal of the global economy.